trained very many things today and advanced quite a few things or added new um, situations to the impulse control with the food. Like I did it in a different spot in the kitchen on the counter. I had the food for her to learn not to jump up there or not to try to uh, get it. And we did the look at me game like you can see here. So when she is, she knows, she knows I have the food in my hand and I want her to know it. It's fine now. But um, in order to, to earn the food, she has to take the detour and look at my face. This is what she's uh, learning right now. Here I tossed some treats for her. I released her with her go and eat to give her a break from all the focusing, from all the, you know, focusing on me being concentrated on a task. And, and all those things. I combined it with uh, calling her name, calling her Roxy, and she came, she responded, turned to me, but I only say it when, uh, like when I toss the treat away, and she's most likely to come towards me anyway, because if she was distracted with a noise or checked out something else in a room, in a different room or a corner of the house, she would most likely not come, and that would only ruin the training. Here you just saw I grabbed her collar, just that she knows when I grab her collar, uh, it's not nothing bad. I got her quite a bit excited here and there and she jumped at me. She tried to jump on the counter and I just pushed her away with, with my backside so that she knows, okay, there's this is a dead end road. There's nothing nothing in there for her. And then I just thought, okay, the, the treats on the counter tease you so much. And I just was holding them to the, to the corner there. And when she's not trying to get them, I hold one down where she could get it. And if she's not coming forward uh, closer to the uh, treat with her nose, then she's getting it. Like here she came, she's coming, did you see it? And then I put it back up. She's getting a second chance. She came a little bit, I put it back up. She's scooting even a little bit further back. She waited perfectly, so I gave it to her. Teaching her to, that the stuff up there on the counter is not her business unless I give her something because she's not trying to get it. Let's grab her collar again, and I grabbed her collar. She's getting a treat just that she learns getting grabbed by the collar is not a bad thing. Doesn't mean game is over or is nothing bad or whatever, something like that. So, again, a couple uh, release treats to give her a break and tell her a good job. And, you know, she can just move and doesn't need to be right with me right now. So I would just say go and eat. Okay, now I, I just wanted her to... Um, Follow me, respond to her name, and uh, come with me. Roxy? Yay! Good girl. Combining it with the look at me game here and there. And I'm trying to get her to look at me not only when she's sitting right in front of me, but also when she's next to me on my side. Because I don't want her to think that look at me means she's to supposed to sit right in front of me and then look at me. She can stand next to me. Uh, 